So have you got your ticket then? Ticket for what? Throne of Skulls. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah? Excited? I'm so excited, mate. It's going to be a great yeah, weekend. I can't it's wait. It's going to be awesome. I've never actually been out on a Saturday night there. What's it like? Oh, in Nottingham? Yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. I, um, I had my stag do there, actually. Nice. It was really nice. good. Where do the guys usually go? I think they normally go to Rock City. Rock City? Yeah. That sounds amazing! Yes. Rocks? A city of rocks? I think you're going to be disappointed. City of rocks. Fair play to not Why'd you keep chucking that ball? What are you doing? Well, I was thinking earlier, I reckon from here, yeah. I could throw this ball into that bin. Nah. What do you mean, no way? There's too many things in the way. What do you mean there's too many things in the way? There's one thing in the way, the sofa. No, uh, well, there's a sofa, but there's the telly, the chaise long, that table. What are you on about? They're not in the way. They could be. The only thing in the way of the bin is the sofa. No. What do you mean, candle that? could be in the way. It cannot. Just because it lies between me and the bin, it doesn't mean it's in the way of the bin. Well, it depends how you throw it, doesn't it? It depends how I throw it. I'm going to throw it at the bin. Well, you could even hit that guitar, couldn't you? The guitar? It's miles away. Yeah, well, if you curve it, it could go in, could it? If I curve it? Yeah. For me to hit that guitar, I'd have to chuck it completely to the left of the bin. Uh, it's not a risk anyway, I'm a good shot. Whoa! What? If you're a good shot, you definitely can't shoot. Why? Because your own models are in the way. What? You can't shoot through your own models if you're a good shot. Oh, fine, I'm evil then. My own shot. Best to update the FAQ then, don't you? Welcome, Strategy Bell Games, to our GBHL YouTube video. You're here with your host, GBHL Tom. GBHL Tom. And this is episode 52 of The Palantir. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh happy new year. Yes. Know. Happy new year. Yes. <laughs> and the puns start. <laughs> How are you? They've already started, haven't they? Yeah. Have they? I don't know. Don't know. Hard to say. Did they ever stop? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um Happy New Year. Yeah. Uh, we're back. Welcome back. Yeah. Must have been ages for you. To them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's been um, it's been two weeks. We missed one week. Yes. Um, sorry, but you know, we don't live together. Tom's off to Manchester, I believe. North of Manchester. North. I don't know why I said Manchester. <laughs> you don't live there. Um, and so we did miss one week, whatever it is. But it's stranger for us because we haven't actually recorded in three weeks. Mm -hmm. I think it is. Um, haven't seen no, yet. but that's why it's longer because by the time this goes out. Mm. Yeah. So we recorded three weeks ago because we yes. recorded, I don't know if you noticed, it's probably quite well hidden, but both those two episodes <laughs> recorded on the same night. Yeah. <laughs> Clever stuff, that. Yeah. But yeah, so it's good to be back with uh, the new year. Indeed. And what I imagine will be a kind of bumper edition, Indeed. catching up on. <laughs> Two episodes worth. Yes, of comments. Uh, thank you for all the congratulations on reaching 50 episodes. Yeah. It was very nice. Um, obviously, we're not 52, but we couldn't see your comments in 51. We didn't know. 51 was a secret hidden yeah. torpedo episode. Yep. Um, but yeah, and thanks for all the Merry Christmas and New Year wishes. Thanks to everyone who's only watched it on Christmas Day. Yeah. In some way. That's, that's dedication to you. There's a lot uh, of people kind of making excuses. Uh, Larry Miller. Oh, he's got a list. David Whitaker. <laughs> Chris Merfitt. Ross Deagle. Wow, Andreas, the Norwegian Viking, but apparently he's cheating in Norway because they it really celebrate it on the 24th. Oh. It's a big day. Cool. David Reed, and many of us, and it's hard to tell on the YouTube comments, because uh, it says one week ago. Yeah. So I knew if you'd specifically said in your comment, it's Christmas Day. But there were more of you, I'm sure, who, with your... Merry Christmas Isn't comment would have been on Christmas Day. David Reed said he kind of stayed up. Was it him that stayed up essentially till midnight? Quite a few stayed up. So it was like, it was, <laughs> it they was were watching on Boxing Day, day but it was still the same day. waking day. Well, congratulations, and I'm sorry that yeah. the um, TV at Christmas was clearly awful. Yeah. Yeah, um, Ross Diggle Except said, Sherlock, which is amazing. Ross Diggle said it's between you and Happy Feet. <laughs> Damon, <laughs> you won. And we won. We won. Yeah. Um, Happy also, Feet's awesome. Um, Larry went for Pippin Christmas. Clever. clever. I like it. Yeah. Do you know what? I say clever and I like it like I'm like I'm calling a snazzy. I saw that a few times yeah. and I think it was the third time I saw it that I got it. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> like, I was like, Pippin Christmas. I was like, what is that? Because everyone likes Pippin. And mm -hmm. then it was like, Pippin Christmas. I was like, what the heck? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Strong. Yeah. Because you normally say Frodo Christmas. Hey. Mm, there it is. Yeah. Can I drink this? It's getting cold. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a massive 
That's <laughs> huge. Huge. Do we know who it's going to? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. But there's so much to talk about. I don't know. They, they won't even listen to who it's to. Where Which are we starting? Are we? I don't know. It's plastic or metal? Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. Um, plastic? Yeah, plastic. All right. You're going to love this. You ready? Yeah. Oh. Check it out. Why are you hiding back there? Uh, I don't know. Check it out. It's it's a Lego mug. It's two Lego mugs. Two Lego mugs. And I haven't drunk out of this yet. No. It's going to be difficult. I don't, I'm going to have to break it together. I'm going to lie. It's not a great experience. <laughs> um, so what, what have we got here? I'm trying to drink it. Oh no, I'm dripping. Mm -hmm. It's good. Uh, we have two Lego mugs. We have two Lego mugs. Personalised mugs. Personalised mugs. We got, do you want to show off yours? Yeah. So mine looks like a big O, but wait, it's T O, and here's the twist M. Because tomorrow we're going <laughs> to the zoo. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tom standing, of course, for Tom. Yeah. Uh, myself, I went for a uh, depiction of Tom. You'll notice that the, um, the colouring spot on and the nose is actually in the shape of a T as a tribute to you because you like T and mm -hmm. your name begins with a T. Yeah. So we should explain a bit about this and there's a bit more explanation that's going to surprise you. you. With a T. Way. Way. Uh, <laughs> that's going to surprise you. Is it? Um, these are from Emma. That doesn't surprise me. No. Way for it. Um, Emma got us these. Huh? Um, very unexpectedly. GBHL presents. That was fairly awesome, bonus Christmas present. Mm -hmm. um, but oh, <laughs> they're very cool. <laughs> with, like, I suspect it will quickly become a very fun pen holder yeah. <laughs> rather than an actual drinking <laughs> utensil. But the reason I say it was interesting is I have to do an extra shout out because I've got two of these because Fallon got me one for Christmas. There's one of these at work. Yeah. Double Lego. Double Lego it's almost like people know I like tea and know I like Lego. Yeah, and so trying to punish you, just by drank, you know, <laughs> so you can't drink. So I don't enjoy either. So if I just drank out of this, because I know actually it's, there's more chance of Fallon watching this than there is of um, it's just going everywhere. Um, but yeah, she saw me drinking out of this and then didn't. She got well, I did that. So yes, yeah, so thanks to Fallon as well. Gotcha. She didn't get you on there. No. And rightly so. And the new one. Um. So yeah, there's two of these. I might combine them to make some giant Uber mug. Okay. Um, <laughs> Double stack. Yeah. Um, so yes, so we've got yeah. these. Mm -hmm. do, are we doing the tea days now? Or we can we... do. Yeah. So last week it was with Ian Spiller. Ah, of course. Not to Ryan Ratchard passed it on to, and he's passing it on to Joe Wilcock. Joe Wilcock, there you go. It's to you. Uh, Wil can we clink? Yeah, oh, good. It's not a good sound. Hmm. Um, enjoy a cup of tea, don't drink yeah. it out of plastic. Do you think this is going to melt? We fill plastic <laughs> with boiling water? No, it seems okay. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you know what to do, Joe. Um, start watching the show. And then <laughs> pass it on to someone, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But that's and not we had, we had Joe, Joe's stat was that he was the most efficient last year at getting into the top ten of the Great British Hobbit League. What, least tournaments? Yeah, the fewest tournaments for, to get into the top ten. Congrats. Well done. Are we going to talk about that in the league final? No, we've done that, haven't we? Oh. We did a review of the year, didn't we? Yes, probably. Been a while. <laughs> Who knows? Did we do that? Can't be <laughs> It's got do 30 that. minutes before. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the next tea. Mm -mm. We're splitting our teas because, not content with one mug, Emro Burn got us two mugs. Uh, oh, I've got a little teaser. Leak. Teaser. There's been a, oh, There's been a leak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it works on so mug. many levels. <laughs> what? I just slightly oh, it across the screen. So are we up? Yeah. Oh. Check it. Again, you're, you're like a hobbit mug. Uh. Mugs. G B H L. Damien. Yeah. Do. Bear car. Good. Alright. Tell strong. Yourself? Mine says. Oh, I'm going to have to squidge. This mug smells funny. It says GBHL Tom Palantir yeah. Mug Review. <laughs> it's incredible that she found these. Yeah. Because they're, they're just perfect for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're really spot on. But um, indeed, so these are these are metal mugs mm, with magnets that you can arrange. They're very hot mugs. Mm. My mm. god. I get what you mean about the smell. <laughs> it smells funny. These are, these are great mugs, but terrible <laughs> mugs to drink out of. 
Um, so, but not only that, not only that, what more? I know, right? Hmm? Uh, there's also um, space for a super secret message. Yeah. Have you got a super secret I message? Do. What's yours? Mine is. Hashtag Bosh. Hashtag Bosh. That's nice. It's where you, you hide your hashtag. And so, myself, I've gone for. Hashtag Tarry Old Fiend. <laughs> All about that. So, try Are you going for Tarry Old Friend, but you ran out of ours? No. Okay. I had plenty of balls. <laughs> I had to borrow an A and a D off you. Okay. So thank you very much. So um, let's get that trending. I could have had them. Yeah, that's oh. two. Oh. You've done two now. Oh. <laughs> You've done two. Now. Yeah, two funny jokes. Yeah. You remember when you had your first? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. I hope Ryan's keeping track of that. Yeah. Tom's funny <laughs> joke. It shouldn't take long. So there we go. Epic tea room. Mm. Very good. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's my cue to You're out of prattle about something else. Okay, so in episode 50 we had a very um, good reception to episode 50, and we also had a sketch in there. Sketch? Which people commented on. Well, not necessarily on the comment. They commented on... Oh, it was on your elf outfit that you're wearing for the thing, because you had bells on it. I did have bells on it. And GBHL James and Lord Draconum. I really like the bells on your feet. Thank you very much. Yeah. And Larry, Larry asked us whether we woke Ed up. Uh, do you know what? I hit, thankfully, I haven't heard from him. Okay. I, I, I don't mean thankfully I haven't heard yeah. from him. <laughs> <laughs> Catch that out. one. I, there have been no, there's not been any contact um, about No it, negative so, comments so either, about waking either up. Either Ed is furious with me about waking <laughs> and up. And not or speaking to Or I didn't wake him up. Yeah. Um, Lucas Whitcoff Wright has done the honourable thing and given you a profile for Damien on the Great Cat of the West is this, following the elf is this video. the elf video? Okay. Um, so Damien on the Great Cat of the West. Um, the Great Cat of the West is fight 7, defence 5, strength 5, 4 attacks, 10 wounds, courage 8, 6 might, 6 will, 6 fate. It's like Panther. Damien's profile fight 7, Obviously. strength 4, defence 7, 3 attacks, 3 wounds, courage 8. Yeah. Like a berserker. Thanks for this. Lucas. Three might, three will, three fate. Special rules. Loyal to Damien. Damien. I'll get that in there just to... Uh, the Great Cat of the West gets a free might point that can be used for heroic actions. I mean, it has six, but... Uh, Every turn? Yeah. <laughs> Not enough might on this boat. And then, I like this one, the impetuousness of youth. I know <laughs> where he's got that from. Where's that? <laughs> impetuousness. <laughs> this, but, no, no, this, but... I say that? Um, throughout battle, battle companies. It's battle companies, it's, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Tim and Lex. <laughs> Tim and Lex. The God rest their souls. And then back but they've again. died again. Yeah. <laughs> the, the youthful Damien. The youthful Damien. Yeah. That's never been said before. The youthful Damien will always count difficult, difficult terrain as if it was normal. That's a fantastic profile, Lucas, and I think it's highly accurate. 700 points. <laughs> that right, I can take some milk. <laughs> On a cat. Good. I never pictured them as particularly great cats of the worst. I thought they were just like your average tag. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, so, news. News, indeed. There's some news. Um, good news or bad news? <sighs> bad news, let's cheer them up. Okay. Bad news is that um, the fine establishment of Slayer Gaming in Mansfield is sadly having to close. Yeah, terrible news. Um, Slayer is what I was. Incredible venue. Um, mm. One absolutely hands down one of my favourites. Always um, had wonderfully friendly staff and great service. I've, I've kind of got so much stuff from them over the years in terms of mm -hmm. the models as well, as well as the tournaments. So it was really, really great establishment, and they've been good. There's no like Tom and Dan and the rest of the guys over the last couple of years. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was a real shame. Yeah, it's a shame to see them go. So. Um, yeah, very sorry to hear about that, and best of luck to you all in your, whatever you yeah. go on to do, I guess. Exactly. exactly. And, of course, they were the advertisement on the back of SPG issue 1. Yes, I suppose, I, I said this in a message on Facebook, but I think it's important we do say that, mm. that Slayer were a huge help in getting um, SPG magazine up and running, and we wouldn't have been able to do it without their support. No. Um, so, any of you who've enjoyed SPG magazine, um, mm -hmm. over the last couple of years, you have them to thank as well. So yes. you might want to raise a cup of tea to them. Um, 
So, it, I mean, it doesn't happen a lot, but it's sad when any, any kind of venue on the independent scene goes Yeah. Because it isn't, it isn't, you know, I'm not worried about the discount and the models, it's, the, it's having that venue. That yeah, there, aren't, there aren't that many, um, especially who are into The Hobbit. Mm. Um, so yeah, I really just remember sure. in the, at the start of the channel, James was, James's favourite phrase was, go to your local hobby store, you'll get 20% off. Oh. Oh. What local store that does Hobbit? Mm, yeah. I don't have any. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah, so they, um, it's a real shame. Um, yeah, shame. But as I think we'll talk about in the tournaments, um, Dan's got some plans for the future. Dan has a plan. So, um, yeah, it, I was, it's very sad that they end, they did the league final. <laughs> yeah. For a big celebration. Yeah. And kind of left, and literally left the year ended. Yeah. And then you never go back. It's quite mm. shame. And the cob shop around the corner. Yeah, I remember the cob. There was a lot of Mansfield I enjoyed. 281. 281, but oh, fingers crossed. Yeah. That, that's not lost to us. Okay, good news then. Mm. Good news is we can still stay in the 281. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> An unexpected bonus. Um, no, the good news is Throne of Schools. So good. Had it happened? Had it been announced by 50? Yeah. By yeah. 50? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about it. Yes. But, but they went on sale. No, and they've gone on sale yesterday. For and us. And the first 60 sold out. Can and, there, die? and there are 40 more. Yeah, because we're recording this on Tuesday. I think 40 more. Yeah, 40 more. We're recording this on Tuesday. Um, tickets went on sale on a Monday, yep. Monday morning. And 60 in a day. That's insane. It is. And it's absolutely brilliant. So, breaking Monday. Well done to everyone who went and got one. Did you get yours? Yes. <laughs> we talked about whether or not we've got tickets to Throne Schools. Yes, <laughs> we did. We were excited about the Saturday night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Boy, have you got a treat at the end of this episode. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, yep, got mine. Yep. Um, but 60 in a day. I'm so excited. Oh. It's brilliant. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm excited for Saturday night. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, do this again. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I couldn't, I, th I can't remember what state it was in when we did it last, but I couldn't go for a while when they moved it. You could go then. I could go to the But original. they haven't moved it. They haven't moved the yeah. date. So it's now on the 2nd and 3rd of April. And when they moved it, I couldn't make it because yeah. we had plans. We had a trip booked, me and Emma, and she's moved the trip because she's incredible. And I'm over the moon, and she's got massive, massive wife points for that. Um, so we moved the trip so I can go to the And the blank check. And what? And the blank check. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's kind of like, <laughs> well, let's go shop. It's like um, anyone who remembers when I left my army at home yeah. at the Finchley tournament, and it's about an hour away from ours, and Emma got up. And drove it to me under the understanding that no, she it's could... now back as well. Yeah, but it was under the understanding that she could then go to IKEA with a joint account because it was quite <laughs> close to Finchley. I was like, I think that's fair enough. <laughs> you see the photo? She sent a photo like halfway through the day, just a full yeah, trolley yeah. at the, at the <laughs> But anyway, we digress. Um, so yes, that's awesome news for me. Um, yes. It's obviously very selfish, but it's brilliant because yeah. I get to go to Thorne Scotland. And now. you get to share a room with me. Uh, Yay! We do indeed. Um, at the Castle Marina Holiday Inn. Yeah. Um, so we're deeply excited about that, mm -hmm. um, and sixty tickets in a day yeah, is amazing. I mean, that's more. That's two days. It? Two days. Yeah, well, they sold out in the middle of today. What could they okay, day and a half. Um, what was Destination Redas? Seventy. Seventy people. Eighty. Eighty. Something like that. Yeah. Twenty. Eighty-two. But, so that's where we were for the record. And yeah. Sorry, Sky's obviously had. Was it eighty or ninety? It was 84 or something. I've got it on the computer, but it was about 84 for the record, and DOS Redesolation was 82. It was only about two or three up there. Okay. And then in a day, they've done, they've done 60. Day. This is awesome. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. But um, it could easily break the record, because it just has to. Indeed. You know, 25 more, and that's it. And um, what's very exciting as mm. well is that, bear in mind, this is the first Hobbit event back at Warhammer World in. Um, uh, Nearly two years. Yeah. Um, Nick Baton, events manager, has said that the record since Warhammer World reopened mm. for any event is eighty people for a forty k event. So it's dangerously close already. It, I think we're going to smash, smash that. it. At sixty in a day. Yeah. There's no way we might smash it. So if there are now, as of today, as of Tuesday when we're recording mm. this, there are forty more tickets on sale. Yeah. They probably won't be on sale mm. by Friday. Mm. But go and buy them anyway. Yeah. If you, you know, you should go to Thrones Girls, it's going to be Don't incredible. buy them then ticket tell. No. No, no one actually does that for this, surely. Surely. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine 
some <laughs> some sort of Steve Crow character outside. Um, <laughs> God, that's interesting, isn't it? So he was my choice, most yeah, nefarious yeah. member of the Hobbit community. He's into it. Yeah. Um, so he's sawing <laughs> tickets in half. Yeah. And then just <laughs> And then making Chops swans them out of them. Chops them up. Um, so yeah, go along to it because it's weird. Like we, it, I, I said this to someone on the Facebook page the other day. It was like, what's the best tournament to go to yeah. for a beginner? And irrelevant of the rules or anything, it's got to be that. And yeah. We're running a tournament yeah. this year, and if you only go to one, go to Throne's Cars. It's Don't go to an us. amazing first tournament experience. Mm. It's, it's and the, it'll inspire you to go to others. Yeah, it really will. So, and it's incredible. Yes. And. Um, and if you read the rules pack, it's all up now. So, um, yeah, there was a few bonuses in there that Nick hadn't said about mm -hmm. the day two is all destination smell scenarios. Mm -hmm. Where you you can get your Merc with spiders again. Yep, both sides. So that's awesome. I'll yeah. bring them along. Yep, bubble wrapped in fifty foot of bubble wrap. Yep. Um, I don't know what I'll do. I may struggle. I'm four from the Hobbit, but <laughs> you might have a couple you could bring. Well, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they'll be done in time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ryan scribbling yeah, on this word. Um, oh dear. <laughs> and I think that was it. I think that was the only other surprise in the the Merkwood stuff. Um, There's the beast. But he didn't change it to smile upon it. No, he didn't, no. Uh, any ideas we could take? Smile with his tail chopped off. Brilliant. Any idea what I'm taking? I don't know. It's a toss up between a few things. Yeah. Depends what I get painted. Oh, what? I don't know. Right. Good. Strong. Well, I'm going to change my mind. But there's a few things I could go try road to do. Road to. Yeah, road to all mounted hunter rocks. Road to all mounted hunter <laughs> <laughs> Again, Road to Thorin's company. Ride them down and all that. <laughs> could do that, um, or I could do try Rohan, old foot Rohan. I thought, because I, I I just went and wrote loads of army lists mm -hmm. really quick because I was so excited about it. My front runner is the Champions Variable. Yes, because I'm painting them this and year. And they'll be fun. And they'll be they'll be fun to use. And they'll, they'll be so much fun. I'll just be screaming do the car yeah, for yeah. a weekend, <laughs> like normal. Really. But um, I think that'll be fun, and I think I can do. I think you can do Thorin Vorkrist. Dwalin, Feely, Keely, Gloin, and Dory. Yeah. I think that's I think that's it. Six hundred. I have pretty spot. I'll have a red. Oh, you could substitute Dane in for a couple. Put Dane of them. in, yeah. If you want no, to do it, but then I'll have to paint up Dane. I'm not really. But you've got Dane, haven't you? Yeah, I've got him up there somewhere. Um, I looked at an all-mounted Rohan list. All-mounted like, Rohan. Yeah, with Theoden, yeah. AMR. I think Aowen and Urkenbrand, yeah. and then just Riders and Royal Guard. Yeah. I looked at, you can get Radion Eagle, two Eagles and Bayon, which would be brilliant. But is that going to be fun for the opponent? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. At least the champion. It's fairly will... awful. Yeah, but... Bayon can, can yeah. like, can't use his rogue actions on anyone else. Yeah. You've got three might with Radion. Yeah. The other thing I was thinking is the barrels again. If I mm. get 600 points of barrels mm. and use the scatter dice. But, um, anyway, whatever. It'll be something like that and it's going to be fantastic. So on the off chance, I can't wait for games where nobody cares. Yeah, it's gonna be brilliant. Everyone's just trying to be nice to you. Yeah. <laughs> was that a six? Nah, it's a five. Nah, it was a six. I think it's fine. Nah, it was a five. Is that cocked? Yeah, it's cocked. Do you want it's a drink? It's flat. Do you want a drink? Do you want a cookie? Do you want? <laughs> Look, it's smell. Pay for your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> have smell. Yeah, have smell. Bring smell along for every opponent. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and then and then the wolf must walk and goes to Thomas Macklin. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Gave him a smell. Do you um, know that the name Tom does remarkably well in the most sporting? Is it really? Yeah. yeah. And Picard. Yeah. One, yeah. And yeah. Macklin. Something mm. about that name. What went wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. People so, start getting wise to it. <laughs> Come on, don't you? I helped with that. I helped with the Don't Trust Tom campaign. Um, so yeah, it's awesome. We're so excited mm -hmm. about Thomas Girls. And the good news is as well, I think. It's only it's only two and a half months away. Mm. Whereas I'm sure it's the it, last it really? one was yeah. like six months. It's yeah. the end of March. Right? Wow. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure previously you booked it up. No, right? April. We start of April, but yeah, the same difference. It's, you're right. It's not the end of March. It's the start of April. This is what I work with. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. So that's some exciting news. It is. And what other upcoming tournaments are there before that? Uh, before that, we have the, the uh, League Open, we have which the is League tomorrow, Open. as you're watching this. Um, good luck to World Champion, yeah. nice first event. Exactly. In Ripon. And uh, whoever wins will be top of the league. Yeah, <laughs> There's, it's 100 points. 100 points towards the league. The scoring has changed. For those who are baffled by the scoring, which we'll get to in the trivia section, um, the scoring was divided through... Oh, it's a bit complicated, but anyway, now it's 100. It's simpler now. 100 if you win. 100 if you win, 95 if you're second, 90 if you're third, yeah. towards the league, out of a maximum 400, and for the league overall in the year, because you take your four best results, and beyond that, it then scales with the number of people yeah. at the event. Um, so yeah, good luck with that. Sounds like a cool event, 1,000 points um, with warbands of 24, yeah. and no a lot magic. of troops. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see what turns up tonight. Yeah. Not going to it myself, unfortunately. Um, but good luck to everyone going mm. And as of now, I think there's two tickets left. So if you get a okay. last minute request, and last minute desire to go, um, pop along and good yeah. luck with that tomorrow. Yeah. Um, then we have Cardiff, which is also a 100 point event. Indeed. A, a fine venue. I'm going to that. You are going? I've, I have my ticket. I've got my early bird ticket. That was a great idea. Yeah. Like 15 quid instead of 25 yeah. over New Year, get, mm -hmm. get numbs up. And there was now, it's awesome to see that there's there was something like 12 confirmed from the early bird paid. Good, which is really great because yeah. unfortunately they had to cancel their last event. Yeah, they didn't have people. Yeah, it's a great event. I think the major difficulty people have had with Cardiff is the getting out there, but it's the second one of the year. It's a great chance to get a good league score if you're interested in that kind of thing. You coming along? I am still undecided because I need to decide with Lily which ones I'm going to on a mm. whole next year. So it just depends what she's doing that weekend. Yes, come. Um, but yeah, I couldn't sadly commit to the early bird. Mm. But I was like, I'd pay 25 quid for the event anyway, so it doesn't go, go, go. bother me too much. Indeed. Um, so yeah, that would be awesome. So get on to that. It's mm -hmm. called Into the West, mm -hmm. 450 point tournament. Um, an awesome venue it's in Cardiff. It's a nice point value. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. I like smaller points at the start of the year. No, no offence to Ripon, Ripon will be awesome. But I like having that, if you have a little project, 450 could be a nice nice enough number. You know what, I know James and Jamie have always said this. Mm -hmm. I, I personally don't get that. Because I think know? generally... You're speaking, just always painting stuff. Yeah, you're always painting stuff. And I don't think there's a... But I you have a new, new Year's hobby resolution, don't you? And then we yeah, start something Yeah, I suppose you might start a new project. Yeah, I, can, yeah I, know, I know where they're coming from, but I equally think I think new players start the game throughout the year. Yeah. So they'll, you know, think, they'll start think, in August, and if there's then a thousand point yeah, tournament yeah. in August, they're in trouble. Like, and yeah. I don't think it puts people off. No. No. I know that you can only paint like one model every two months. No, 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 no. One model every three months. Okay. But I think, I think what's better is to have like this, 1,000, 450, 800, this is 300, scale. Rather, <laughs> rather than having the, I would rather that than 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, you know, I think that's, I'd rather know that I could have go to a big tournament at the start of the year and the end and a small tournament at the start mm -hmm. and the end, personally. Um, and then third event, not yet confirmed, would be, oh, the plastic keeps the tea warm. Oh, well this one, the metal does not, no, it takes all yeah, the heat. Yeah, it takes it. It rubs it. That's science right there. So you, your problem is that you've made the, the rim <laughs> thicker. Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Which makes it difficult to drink from. Difficult to get in my mouth in, mm. yeah. Too easy. Too easy. Alright. Third one. Yeah, it's potentially, it's potentially up in the air, but hopefully um, is Dan Bird's new event in a new club in Mansfield. He, at the last we heard, he was still keeping it there. Yeah, and it's in central Mansfield, which most importantly means we can still stay at the two eight one, which is great. You see, means that functions. Why would they do that? Why would they put stuff on whilst we? Yeah, on well, Saturday night. That was really upset. Imagine that as well. It's the last time we were in Mansfield, he didn't stay there. Um, so good luck to Dan with starting that up. I hope it goes really well and. I, I would hope that we'd be along to support that, because um, I do so love Mansfield. Mm -hmm. And there's next three events coming up. Yes, indeed. And the one we talked about the most is not on there. Yeah. 
Um, okay, um, what did we talk about two weeks ago? Couldn't tell you. Uh, oh, two hobby ago, but... We did a review of the year. Yeah, that was last episode. Uh, two episodes ago. It was stats of the moment. It was indeed. So, uh, we won't give you all the stats again, but Kevin Lewanski said, please tell Akpel that he's a hero. He is a hero. He's not, not a warrior, warrior, he's a hero. I also think... Um, and he should be paid for all his epic work on the channel with 250 chances to buy Fred Hoos for his work. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, we can do that. Guess. Ryan, um, we've talked about this in advance. You have the opportunity to go and buy yourself 250 thrillers. Yeah. No, Ryan, I'm almost tempted to say, please don't do yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> There'll could, be a picture on the might, Facebook. Yeah, you might do it. You might do it, Ryan, don't. Save your money. Buy a, buy a smell. <laughs> I can't remember. Let's take it full circle. <laughs> Part of a smell. Something else is fine. I wouldn't worry. No, it's 50. 50 quid. Hmm. 50 quid, buy a, fifth, buy a sixth of a smell. Right. Um, you were going to say something. Probably very insightful. Oh, he's a he's a hero. Yeah, congrats to Ryan. Oh, that's what I was going to say. That a big long list of stats. We were a bit worried, so this could be awful yeah. like, as, <laughs> as content. But I actually think some of it was, was really quite entertaining, mm -hmm. hopefully. Mm -hmm. And no one seems to complain. So. Yes, indeed. And, um, well, I think was... Um, <laughs> So, Sind, yes, who's Sind. got his um, SBG? He's got the package. <laughs> thank, thank God they the got massive that. package. You sent um, six copies of SBG out to Canada. Yeah, we don't, everything. We don't usually um, do sign delivery. No, yeah, but it was obviously worth a lot to us and worth a lot to them. Yes, indeed. Um, so thank you for that, and I hope mm. you enjoy them. Yes, indeed. Happy New Year. Um, but yeah, he was he was sad. I think that you were. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you remember what Emma called you old. It always mean. calls me old. <laughs> Everyone calls me old. It's a thing. <laughs> no, I don't remember that. Why okay. bring it up? Because it's, it makes me feel better. Alright. And he, he said, sorry. Yeah. Thank you, Jim. Yeah. Appreciate that, mate. Um, I'm a bit worried that your ears are going to stick in my eyes. I just... I might have to rebuild. Okay. Apparently. Alright, okay. <laughs> um, we also had a 50 point army. A 50 point bat rap? 50 point bat we rap. We did. Indeed. That was fun. Lots of you enjoyed it. Did they? Did they really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Maybe we should do that again. Maybe. We might do. I don't know if I can be bothered. <laughs> nah. Um, we then asked for your ideas of what would make good 50 point armies. I think we said 51, which would be for the next episode, but you know. I think we're going to keep it as a 50 point yeah. zone, just because it makes it simpler. But some ideas you had were. Larry had Thrain plus Alfred plus four naked Lake Town Guard. Who else but Haldir? Oh, because Alfred can give the mic to Thrain. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. That's horrible. Yeah, Andy can become a monster. <laughs> yeah. Who else but Haldir went for two ranges of the north. Um, you Ryan... can get Thrain's old profile with nine might. Yeah. You just don't need it. No. In the 50 word era. Uh, Akthon went for Goblin Town Captain. And four Goblin Town Goblins, all with. All with? Axes. Oh, right. Fill in the blind. Um, Giblin, GBHL Jeremy, went for Fatty Bulger, seven sheriffs, and four archers. <laughs> oh. But I don't know if you were like, We no, said that you could have independent yeah. heroes, but we just meant they could be your leader as opposed to they could yes. lead the troops. Yeah, they can't lead troops, but you could. You didn't. If you had an independent in there, he, he could be the leader. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it it just wasn't the same rules for leaders, so you could have things like fell wargless and yeah, it was to the, it was spiders. also with the um it was if if you use the king's huntsman that mm -hmm. was the reason yeah, for yeah. It. David, then you wouldn't have a leader. David Whitaker went for Damrod and Citadel Guard. Mm, that sounds pretty good. Tanya went for Thrain, the Broken, two Grim Armors and two Warriors of Erebor. Well, that's kind of the same thing. It does allow for those kind of armies, though, I guess. Might be worth it. broken. Two Grim Hammers and two Warriors of Erebor. Might be worth like not, really, not a leader for them, maybe. Maybe, we'll see. Well, otherwise, you can't really get dwarves in, can you? Yeah, I suppose. Um, so, yeah. So, keep them coming because we think we're going to make mm. this a regular thing. We'll make it 50 points. 50 points? Yeah. 50 point bat reps. Indeed. Um, trivia? Hmm? Trivia! Trivia section! 
Um, we asked last time how many points did Damien and I finish on in the Great British Albert League last season yeah. out of a total of 400. Um, it was not four. Four. As Ryan said for me. Four points. That's, that was less than that, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Nor was it, I don't care, David Reed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... <clears throat> Uh, Ross Diggle was close. He said that Damon scored a perfect 5 out of 7, whereas Tom <laughs> Rudin didn't score a terrible 7 out of 5. <laughs> uh, you'll know that if you've seen something going around the yeah, internet. Google, I don't even know what you'd say, Facebook troll 5 out of 7, and you'll probably find that. That's some wonderful trolling. Yeah. That is, have you seen, did, you, did you read that? Yes. Yeah. So good. good. This is a perfect film, 5 out of 7. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, so, how many points did we get? You scored... 370 or something? 373.0. So, 373. Yeah, and I scored... Four. I said to one decimal point. Um, what, where did you come in the league? 14th. 320? 335.1. Closest to you, he was helped by the fact that he was near you. Oh, and you his own cheap. points score. He went for 372.8, so only point two out. The winner is David Reed. Woo! That a, that's a pleasing voice. Oh, yeah. That's a good combo of ring and yeah. cup. <laughs> you have the chance to uh, buy yourself a Fredo. Closest to me, with a guess of 347.6, was... Larry Miller. David Reed. No. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> He's got both. He's got both. Bonus Fredo. Double Fredo. Three Fredos. Three you have Fredos. the chance to get yourself three Fredos. Wow. And he even said in the comments, um, I'd give up all of my Fredos that I've been getting over the planters to win a tournament. <laughs> this year? Yeah. <laughs> he Maybe. was uh, James and Jamie's pick for your question. On Sweet Friend of Question. Of who's to... Who's oh yeah, I forgot about that and... question. Yeah, I've not watched that episode yet. They tried to troll us, but they, they? they pulled out at the last minute, Why which is it? always important. They said um, <laughs> that we could. Um, they start chatting about the how do I pay? Because I think you say uh, thanks for your support, and um, uh, your support game, and they say how do I pay? You need to ask them, and then it becomes the scouring of YouTube to inbox us asking <laughs> how to pay for SPG magazine. And then right at the end they go, no, you know what, don't do that. <laughs> they, kind of, they pull back again. Yeah. But um, Dave Fredericks did it today. He sent me a message. So, so <laughs> like, oh, no way. Uh, Very yeah. good. Apparently we don't make it clear enough. Yes. But well done to David Reed. Mm. A cracking effort. Um, Still not very happy with him. <laughs> don't know if you heard. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't put it on your tea mug. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great idea. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so trivia for this week yep. is... My one? Yeah. Um, as any of you have been following my hobby vlogs or Facebook posts at the end of the year might know... No. Right. I've not been following. Don't do them. Why, why watch them? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I did a stock take of my unpainted models. Mm. And my question is... Of all the models in my collection, mm -hmm. which character do I have most unpainted versions of? Plastic Warrior of Numenor. Right. Um, so it's not a warrior. So anything like that, like Mercury Ranger or a Rook Scout or Ryder Rohan. It's not. Elf. Right. It's not anything like that. It's not any of those sculpts or anything. Because it, it a, has to be a hero. Yeah, it's a named hero. Named? So, yes. Does that include Ring Race? Only if they're named. Every week. Every week. Um, well, you know what? It's not a ring race, so there you go. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, so my question is, and obviously this isn't trivia, you can't know, you have to guess. And it is guessable. Which character do I have the most sculpts of unpainted? And one caveat. Da -da -da -da, you just got multiples of tally off. About ten yeah, of it. Just put ten of it. <laughs> so is multiples it, don't they count. Wanted, what did they want? For something, they wanted a bat rep of like nine Tariels v Smell or something. <laughs> that came up as something. Yeah. Um, but if you think it's Gandalf, I'm not saying it is, I'm not saying it's not. Mm -hmm. In my calculations for this, Gandalf the White is a different character to 
Good enough to grow. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that might influence. But Thorin wouldn't be separated between chest no, no, no. and marrow. He can no, 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 the only one. Yeah. Um, that I've separated. Um, so there, that's my question. Which character do I have the most unpainted sculpts of? Cool. A nine and a shocking twist. It's not quite the same. He never comes up with original questions anymore. Oh, shush. Mine is, um, if we take every faction um, from the five source books, which faction do I have the most painted models from in my collection? Mm. So if we were using... An example, in Kingdoms of Men you have Newman or you have Minister if you have Rohan. It's that specific kind of entry that I'm looking for. Cool. So it could be anything. Think about what you It could seen. be anything. Yeah, could You're be not anything. ruling out half the factions. No. That's handy. No. I mean, obviously it, it probably isn't anything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, think about what you've seen me have. And then have a guess? Yep. That's our trivia section for this week. Indeed. Um, some quick erratas updates from the last episodes. First one, <laughs> you, said be you said best of intentions, and I said, what's that a quote from? Oh, yeah, and it's. It was Jeremy, wasn't it? It's bloody Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's Jurassic Park, Park 3, yeah. it's Dr. Alan Grant. It's when he's talking to Billy, and he said, you do him subconsciously. <laughs> yeah, I know. He says, it was with the best of intentions. And he says, yeah, some of the worst ideas in the world have been made mm -hmm. with the best of intentions. Yeah, yeah I, could, I saw that and I was like, oh, how could I miss that? Well done, Jeremy Smith. Nine die. Is that right? That is right. Yeah. It looks as like it's just looking at it backwards. It's a bit. Yeah. Nine dice, three highest. <laughs> Honestly. Um, so yeah, well done Jeremy Smith on that. Um, we have more errata about the Norwegian YouTube channel. <laughs> you never get it right. We're um, sorry, we're so sorry. All of their videos are now in English. Oh great. So, go subscribe. Um, Andreas did a great um, advent calendar. Oh he did, yeah. Um, Paint them on series right. of videos. Which was very, very, very efficient of him. <laughs> we would not cope. No. Um, okay, so well, then we talked about the review of the year. Mm -hmm. There were some highlights. Um, Mr. Snobler said my hobby highlight has to be joining the Great British Hobbit League as yeah. it has reignited my love for the hobby. Oh, that's great. Well done. Um, Ryan Ratchford said that I came to three GHL tournaments and hope to at least double that number next year. Uh, my favourite game this year uh, was against Jamie Giblin. 90 goblins against 16 dwarves. 90 goblin died for the cost of six. Oh, that was an incredible game. A domination as well. Congratulations, Jamie Giblin. Um, then I've got David Reed and Larry's comments, which are both huge. Um, should, should we read some of it? I think that's traditional. Okay. Um, buh -buh 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 -buh. Okay, David Reed said he was watching us on Boxing Day before I went to bed, so it felt like Christmas Day. Then my battery on my phone died, so I finished watching it in my usual spot at work today. Good. I mean, maybe don't read um, it all. <laughs> right, well, you said read some of it. Well, I didn't know it was going to be about his battery life. Okay. Well, I thought it was interesting. Um, da -da -da -da. Favourite tournament. <laughs> <laughs> he said the fav his favourite tournament, not including the one he ran. Um, uh, da -da, and he said, this leaves me with eight times to choose from, which is tricky because I enjoyed them all. Uh, I say it's close between Sutton, which was my first tournament this year with the Harrod. Um, and the venue was really good and it was run really well. Well done, I don't know. Him. And the other one was League Final. No. Um, and he, and um, see how the league concluded was exciting. Favourite game. Oh, I'm just realising what his favourite moment is going to be. <laughs> favourite game. Again, it's hard because there have been loads of good ones. Uh, the honourable mentions to Ian Spiller at Stockport in Domination. Um, which came down to a berserker having to hold off Grip, Fang and Wolf to get a win. And Chris M Murphy at Mansfield where he won hold ground by one victory point. <laughs> um, on table one. Very good. But his best game goes to our tea toast of the of this week, it's Joe Wilcock in Preston um, for domination with goblins. Um, oh, it was the 
it was the chase. It was Charles's made up. Oh yeah, yeah, the golden scenario, yeah. custom scenario. Um, favorite achievement finishing the top ten. Yeah, we're, yeah. Best moment. Is it gonna be something? Like Best that? moment. Nine dies, three highest. Uh, that wasn't your moment. That was mine. Yeah. <laughs> Take it from me. Um. And then that's one of the most memorable ones, but I think the best is actually, joking aside, from the league final versus James Clubley. It was Thorin versus Treebeard, in a, uh, they were both the leaders fighting, oh, this, both with uh, no might, no will, no fate, one wound left. Um, and in true Dubakar fashion, he shielded Thorin shielded yeah. and killed Treebeard with his oak and shield poke. Oh my god. Well done. Well done. Um, and then Larry. It's a great rule. Yeah. The Oaken Shield is a fantastic rule. Yeah. Um, Larry said picking a favourite tournament is hard. Some honourable mentions are Fog on the Finch League Downs, um, Seven Stones, um, and Longbottom Carnival, where he finally won a wooden spoon after being narrowly beaten so many times. I'm not sure if you're beaten to a wooden spoon. <laughs> it's tricky, isn't it? Um, but his favourite was Smilefest. Cool. Well done to JT. Awkward. Um, just because the concept was so ridiculous and it was great. Mm. And he goes, best game, or was it it's Chris Murphy cropping up again? I don't know why he gets best games when he's taking Goblin Town. Bigger. Um, <coughs> <coughs> oh, and he says the one against me. <laughs> where, where? It was the one at um, Finchley where the, tr the Party tree attacked you. What oh, was that, it? The, that the tree was attacked you. That's where I got spanked by Jay. And he moved. <laughs> that's a horrific game. <laughs> he moved Tauriel in, and the tree just goes, <laughs> dead Tauriel. <laughs> that was awful. Oh dear. Oh no, then he goes, oh, th those were his third and second. So his actual winner was from Seven Stones, the game where he and K Kieran used two heroic moves and seven heroic channels in <laughs> one turn. And blew up Radagast before he could do anything other than call one failed heroic move <laughs> with the nine on horse. That's amazing. Well done. Was that not, it was nine black darts? Or yeah. <laughs> channeled. <laughs> Seven of them were channeled. <laughs> oh, they must kill What did they do? No, they, they, they'll have done channel sat will, channel sat will, and then as soon as they got through that, black dart, black dart, black dart, black dart. Because one had to call a heroic move. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so yeah, thank you for those comments. Sorry if we've missed. Oh, we're through the comment review. Yeah. That was it. Excellent stuff. And with that, that's the end. <laughs> no. um, we thought uh, one of the things we would uh, talk about was our kind of a uh, little bit about Christmas mm -hmm. and what we were going to do in the new year. Yeah. So, uh, did you get much of a haul for Christmas? No. No. Not really. No? Um, Good topic. I got the Chronicles book. Oh, the new one, the Art of War? No, I got the blue one. The first one. Is that the Art and Design or the... The Creatures one. The Creatures one, that's cool. It was cool. So I can start that collection. They're annoyingly long, because they're like... Yeah, a, they stick out. They're a, if anyone's wondering what the going on, my bookcase is over here. Yeah. This is Tom's <laughs> pointing at some ephemeral book. In but the you need ether. a deep bookcase. You don't need to be deep. You do. <laughs> to, to fit the book on. Yeah. Um... But they're great. Yeah, they're really, really good. So if you haven't got any of them, we'd heartily recommend going and get the Chronicles. Mm -hmm. um, Lily made me an amazing box, but it's not for this game. It's for the Lord of the Rings card game. Oh, like a storage box to fit the cards in. Cool. Which was a handmade box with a lid and everything that had uh, painted on it the ring motif and the JRR, oh, wow. which was awesome. Go Lily. Yeah. Might show it if there's if we're ever in Bista. Um I think that's probably about it for Lord of the Rings that I can remember. Yeah. Cool. Your haul will be a bit bigger. I was quite pleased, yeah. I went um I got heavy Lord of the Rings yeah. <laughs> um influence as always. Uh, my family secret Santa thing, you can put suggestions on, I've got a bunch of models, so I've got the Shelob kit, mm -hmm. uh, Lake Town cap, Militia Captain and mm -hmm. Kelleborn. Mm -hmm. And Kelleborn. Um, yeah, I didn't have the armoured one, and he was metal, so I was a bit worried about him going out of production, so mm -hmm. I picked that up. Um, I got a colouring book, and um, M picked me a Tolkien <laughs> colouring book up, which is quite cool. Um, oh, and stuff good. like this. 
So this is going to be beside beside the um, let me flip through like that. Beside the not pretty good TV. It's obviously not based on the films. I'm just going to colour in. Let's watch them. Um, there's also a Game of Thrones one that she got me, and there's got a Sherlock one available as well. Um, should you be interested in such things? Um, I got a Smaug T-shirt, which is quite cool. I got the Bag End Hobbit set, Tag which end. is amazing. Which is amazing. There's one I really mm -hmm. wanted. I was gutted when it went out of production. My mum and dad got me it from eBay, mm -hmm. I presume. And I had loads of fun building that. It's such a good set. You get some really good minifigs. So yeah, I've got um, lots of bits of some other some other stuff. And T-shirt that you're not wearing. Yeah, I said it. You weren't oh, listening. Sorry, no, I wasn't. Um, yeah, it's my <laughs> T-shirt. And um, a few bits, other bits and bobs and stuff. Um, that was cool. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very happy. And a very, very good Christmas. Lovely. Good. Um, so, yeah, new toys all over the shop. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to be doing is not your new toys what? in the months to come? <laughs> what? We're, we're, we're talking about hobby resolutions, isn't it? Yeah. Um, painting. Good resolution. Yeah. Strong. Paints and models. I just need to be a bit more. I don't know, last year was just not great for getting home and doing painting. You painted two more models than me, didn't you? Yeah. That's not true. <laughs> I, I don't believe that. That's true. It's not true. You true. Had, I've got a spreadsheet. You found, yeah, you were two extra models <laughs> added on to it. You know, you're like, how many did you paint, Damien? 54? Yeah, it's 56. Mm. Oh, Shame. Shame. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're obviously both as glacial as each other. Yeah. Good. Well, um, I was kind of counting some that hadn't quite been here based. Comes. Yeah, there it is. Oh. Also, in reference to one of our comments from the previous one, mm -hmm. uh, my best paint model of last yeah. year, uh, Thraw, I did paint in 2015. So whoever it was, Sarah Sam, Man, yeah, has been so dethroned. Thraw would be my um, best paint model. And Haldir's just been dumped right yeah, out of the middle. Out of away. contention. Um, so, yeah. Mm. Um, so, what is your. Do you have a. Do you have a project for this year? Potentially. I. Would you like to talk about it? Or? I don't know. Oh. Probably not. No? Right. Depends. Oh, I, right, okay, brilliant. <laughs> um, I was trying to put a list together of what I want to paint. I've assembled a Lake Town Militia Army. Cool. For some point. That could happen. Still got the rest of my Azog's Hunters to finish. That could happen. Um, you got some other late time militia as well, didn't you? The, the foundry? No, the Perry, Perry Minches ones. Minches. Yeah, because uh, Rob from the DCHL had those and they look great. And I think Steve's got some as well. Mm. Yeah, they're really good. They, yeah, they, fit, they, in they well. fit in brilliantly and you get women in the late time list, which is great. Might have your boat, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And. What else am I going to be doing? Potentially finish off the Hobbit barrels. Oh, cool. And potentially do some more Rohan just so I can take gambling more. I was going to take gambling with the banner and armor. And Eowyn, the shield maiden with no armor version. Oh, very just good. basically taking the three things you never see. That would be the point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good. Strong. Just think it. Now James is like, there's a, there's a, oh, there's a hierarchy. hierarchy with Rome. Yeah, start from the bottom. Start from, start from, from the bottom. bottom. He's going the wrong way. <laughs> I'll take that hierarchy and turn it on its head. King's Huntsman would have been there, wouldn't he? Yeah, he's, he, he was, he was another well. one who I could do. Cool. Um, if you've seen my hobby vlog uh, this week, you'll mm -hmm. know that um, I go into some detail about it. I've planned out my 2016. But in short, the first half is the Champions Variable, um, some Gundabad Warriors, and some Lake Towns. Not those. Hmm? Not the ones you got left today from last year. Oh yeah, I'm starting with them. All right. They're going, they're, they are going. They being the rest of the red. Yeah, two Mugwood Knights, Megalus, Foot Mounted, and Tarryl. Mm -hmm. De -la -la. De -la -la. Um, I'm actually starting, I've started painting this year. I'm doing a, um, I'm doing the, oh, yeah. they, were, they were in, I showed them in my hobby vlog. Um, the Galadriel, the new White it looks Council amazing. one. amazing, I want that model. Yeah, it's a gorgeous sculpt actually, the, the Unexpected Journey White Council one. If anyone has that model, you don't need to send it to me for free, but just let me know if you want to sell it. <laughs> for free. <laughs> um, and right back at the other end of the spectrum, the uh, Metal Gandalf, the first one. From the yeah, moment. you're doing a few Gandalfs. Yeah, I've got, I'm, I'm in the mood for Gandalf, so I'm painting those at the moment. Yeah, well he goes with Thorin's company, yeah, he, he so looks you cool. need a Gandalf. Yeah. 
And so you've now got one with his hat and without. Mm. That's about it. So those are my things. So we would like to know what are <coughs> your hobby resolutions mm. for the new year. I mean, we did this last year. It'd be interesting to go back and watch the episode and see what we said we'd do in 2015. Did we really? Yeah. God, we should, probably shouldn't do that. We should paint at least 4,000 Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, those are the painting ones. Have you got any for tournaments? You said you were working out what you were going to. Yeah, I'll probably. I think I went to about eleven last year. I generally would go on. We. I think we both generally go on average about one a month. Yeah, to try to. There's something like that. Um, I'm sad to be missing the open up, but equally, I'm quite glad to have a cheap January because they yeah. they do get expensive. Yeah. So that's that's part of it. You know, money does come into it. Um, but yeah, going to. Quite a few events will be cool. Running an event will be cool. Yeah, seven times again. Releasing two magazines, two issues of SBG. There's a there's a resolution for you. Yeah, this which I think we said that last time. But this, this calendar, calendar year, there will be two issues of SBG released. We are fairly damn confident about that. Um, we are yeah. currently issue four needs to be made. Yeah, yeah. Like there's still a lot of that to do. Yeah, we've got a lot of the year. Yeah, we've we probably said that for issue three. <laughs> issue three's bat rep is happening on the thirtieth of January. Yes, it's been a long time coming. Yeah, I mean, we we have email threads that will be over a year old by yeah. the time we play the bat rep. There are work in progress photographs yeah. of, of stuff the bat rep. that's going to be in issue three from over a year ago. Yeah. And I promise you it'll be worth the wait. Um, it's going to be incredible and it's finally coming closer and then as soon as that's done mm -hmm. we will ramp up production. Indeed, that'll be in it. Yeah, that, that'll be in it. And <laughs> that thing, oh god, it's, I wish I, just wish I could the turn the camera it. around. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the box. I mean, look at it. Oh, it's so <laughs> cool. That thing sitting on that, that other thing. That, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's going to be, it'll be cool. We're also currently out of issue twos. Oh, by the way, so yeah. um, if you are interested in issue, issue twos, um, let us know and we'll order some more. We've got yes. some issue ones left. Yes. Um, but yeah, so two issues of that will come out this year. We gosh darn hope. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, the plan is to have issue three around March. Yeah, end of March, April, I reckon. And then the plan is for issue four is to have that in time for Ardicon. Yeah. So that the international people who come over, we don't have to post it out. <laughs> you can get it for cheaper. So. Yes. So yeah. Um, so yeah, those are our hobby mm -hmm. resolutions. Um, what are yours? We want to know. Mm -hmm. We want to know. We do indeed. And so what we're now going to do is close out uh, our episode of the planet in what is fast becoming the traditional anna by having a 50 point bat rep. A 50 point bat rep. Um, it, we, we decided, um, based on suggestions from some viewers, mm -hmm. that we're doing a winner stays on format. Mm -hmm. So if you recall, um, <coughs> Drummy McDrummerson from the last um, round, uh, Moria Goblin Captain. Captain Fantastic. Who uh, led his troops, his horde, his to horde. a glorious victory over Alfred and the Lake Towners. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a goblin with a bow, a goblin with a shield, and a goblin with a spear. And he's taking to the field again. But this time, he's against a new Threat, posed by Mr. Thomas Harrison. Mm -hmm. And here we have the 50 point challenging army. We have Damrod, um, the glorious captain here. He's leading one ranger with a bow and two fountain court guard with shield. That's filth. Filth at 50 points. Filth right there, defence seven. We'll see how they get on shortly. And for those who. And for those who've forgotten, this is Damien's army. It's the Goblin Drummer Captain, um, and he's leading a guy with a shield, a guy with a spear, and a guy with a bow. By guy, I definitely mean Goblin. And this is the setup. They are here, uh, six inches onto the board. Damien's here, he's ready to play. I just found out this was the setup. I, I would not have set my models up like this. Do you want to redeploy? No, it's fine. It takes many help. It takes as much help as you need. Okay. I'm going to go into turn one priority. <laughs> Dice everywhere. Uh, good get. A five. An evil get. Mm. Two. So it goes to good. And we'll come back um, after movement of the board. <laughs> 
Okay, so here's how things are looking after movement. The fountain gourd, the gourd, the fountain gourd pushed up. Meanwhile, Damrod and uh, the ranger only moved half, ready to get some shots off. The goblins rushed up, and the goblin archer only moved half, ready to get some shots off. And with that, we're going to good shooting foes. Uh, this is the single ranger. He's going to ping up your captain. Yep. Oh, he's hit. Defense five. Five, I think. So, so six. sixes. <laughs> Strong start. <laughs> um, so I will offer my captain's fate. Cut oh, it's cut. My captain's fate. Oh, oh that's six. It. So the captain is out of fate though. Damn rod shot. Um, damn rod shot. At the captain. Hit. On a six. Oh, oh, he's double <laughs> This is unacceptable. <laughs> oh, so my captain's down to one wound without anything <laughs> happening, but it's alright because my goblin is going to have a fire back at one of these fountain court. He needs a six. Oh, and I can't match it. And with that, we go into turn two priority. <laughs> it's not Yikes. a strong start for the goblin. Two. It's two from good. It's a four from the goblins. <gasps> Will there be a right move? Okay, then we'll come back after movement. <laughs> Okay, and here we are after movement, and Damien has gone in. <laughs> He's gone in with um, uh, everything, yeah. The shooting um, war didn't go my way. No, so the two founding carts have been charged by uh, the goblin with a bow and the goblin with a spear. <laughs> Damrod's been charged by the drummer captain, and the awesome ranger shooter at the end has been charged by the guy with the shield. Who do you want to, well, who do you want to start with? Uh, let's start with the bowman against the fountain court. Bowman against the fountain court. Bowman gets oh, strong. It's not good. He's lost. It's a five. five. Kill him. Yes, it's fine. Never so doubt. And the um, spearman against the fountain court. Yeah. Spearman gets three. Three. It's not strong. Oh god. Five to kill him. Oh, no. Safe. Exactly as I planned. <laughs> and we'll now go on to the swordsman against the ranger. Mm -hmm. Swordsman gets. Still on the three highest over here. Oh god. It's a five to kill him. No, he survives. The oh, big one. Captain. Fine against Damrod. Two attacks for the captain. It's He's five, got a five. Damrod has a mic point. Oh, and gets a more two. Damrod's defence is five. Yeah, five's from the captain. Oh, he's got two mic. He's got two mic. How many fates? One fate. And two wounds. One wound. Oh, how are we playing this, you jerk? The normal way. Oh, all right, I'll, I'll mic one. Mic the first one. Yeah. Then you get to mic, and then I'd have to take my fate yeah. at that point. So then you'd always have the option to mic the second. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, that's what I meant, yeah. All right, cool. So, fate point. Needs a three to draw the mic. Yeah. He gets the four. I'll mic the other one. And Damrod dies. <laughs> it's back in, back in the game. Yeah. Damrod goes captain. down. And with that, we'll go into priority. Captain could win it, yeah. So yeah we'll two. get a two. We'll get a three. Captain is on no might and one wound, though. Yes. Can they take him out? Mm. We'll come back after movement. And we're back after movement. And this brave fountain cart is charged two. This brave one is charged the frankly awesome <laughs> my captain. And my sharpshooter over there has charged back into the guy with a shield. <laughs> And we shall start with the guy on two. Okay. And he's going to have it. He's going to have it? No shielding. He will get a three. It's probably a good choice. <sighs> it is a good choice. Right, man. Um, five's on either. He'll go for the one with the spear. No. I can't convert. Uh, captain. All right. Captain gets oh, six. six. Needs a six. Yes. No, he doesn't get it. Captain still needs a six to chop him up. Yeah. Can he faint with a bone? No. Oh, Double three. Oh. And we go into the sharpshooter against the shield, uh, the shield wielding goblin. Goblin. Two. It's not strong. Six. Five to kill. <gasps> yeah. This goblin goes yeah. down. <laughs> it's back on three oh, on three. three, on three. <laughs> and we'll go into priority. All right. Evil get three. And good get a five. Remember, in this game, we decided we're doing no courage tests. So yes. we'll come back after a uh, good move. Indeed. Okay, this is how it looks after movement. The sharpshooters run through to charge this bowman. Uh, fountain court, spear on spear, and then captain against the remaining fountain court guard. 
Who are we going to go for first? Don't we? So you're the bowman Goblin. against the bowman. Yeah. And the goblin gets three. Oh, they're three. not doing well in combat. Um, it's a four. It's a five to kill him. Fives. Oh, 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 that's his third kill. Oh. What a hero. <laughs> I've only lost two models. It can't possibly That's be his, his third, third wound. Kill. Third wound. Third wound. <laughs> we have a fountain court against the goblin. Yeah. The goblin gets. Oh. Fountain court gets. What are they the doing? Five fountain court to kill. Oh. Oh. Down goes the goblin. It's all on the captain. <laughs> Never, never in doubt. It could be tricky against three. He will be trapped. He <laughs> could might. do with a, a kill here. What's he get? It's a six. Fountain can't get a five, and he takes it. He needs this. He needs the six. six is to kill. Oh, I thought he had a bite point. Oh. <laughs> and with that, we go into priority. Good, get a four. Evil, get a four. It goes, to, goes evil. to evil. I'm not going to be able to escape any of them. Anymore. Yeah. Run five that way. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> He's charging it. The last stand of the goblin oh, captain. Could be tricky. Um, so He's got a lower fight attacks. value. He's yeah. got fewer dice. Sets the bar out. Six, Six again! <laughs> okay. Fountain court number one. Oh, okay, fine. Fountain court number two. It's fine. Sharpshoots a ranger! I've got to strike the ranger. Four Fours. to kill. Oh, I'm in the fountain court. <laughs> the ranger's gone down. I'm going to strike the fountain court. Oh, that's all right. We'll take it. We'll take it. And it, now it's getting tense. Two it's on the priority. One. priority. Goblins get a two. Goblins. There's only one. Two. Go back to good. Oh. In they go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> Goblin captain sets the bar. The six again! He just can't stop rolling them. But the fountain cock could win it with a six. Here we go! It's cocked! Oh, oh, what is that? What is that? <laughs> they need a five to kill him. Yeah, this is the jabby spearman at the back. Goblins have been defeated. Oh, I thought he was coming back. <laughs> Goblin goes down. It's all thanks to that shooting at the start. <laughs> that we ridiculous have shooting. A new champion of the 50 point bat reps. The fountain cart. <laughs> and we'll go into a post battle bat rep breakdown. <laughs> and so we are back at the post battle bat rep break breakdown. Yes. And it went to good. Well, a one each now. One each indeed. Oh, how do you think that went? Glorious start. <laughs> The shoot! Terrible middle and then good ending. Yeah. Like so many things. <laughs> um, yeah, the shooting was insane. Yeah. Was it six to hit, six to wound, six to hit, six to wound? It's something like that. Like, I rolled a lot of sixes. Yeah, though. it was obscene. Which um, I thought put paid to my captain, but then in he went. Yeah. And chopped up down rod in spectacular fashion. Yeah. But sadly, having to use both might, mm. which could prove costly. Mm. Then the goblins all got killed, yes. which is upsetting, <laughs> in a devastating barrage. And again, I thought it was over. Yeah. But then, Drummy McDrummerson <laughs> smacked them about. Killed the ranger. Killed the ranger. And I thought, I hope. I no, like dead. Yeah. Dead. Great shame. Yeah. So we have our new champions of yeah. 50 point bat rep. Yeah. Damrod, two fountain court, and a ranger. Indeed. What can take them on? Anything that costs 50 points. Yeah. Um, and so put your suggestions below, and we'll start. They almost certainly won't be in next week. But well, we'll, we'll start. Plan we do. Week. We'll start yeah, queuing up the yeah. armies for what can take them on. Assuming we have the models. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we'll see. Hopefully, you like this new addition to the plan. Yeah, it's quite good fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, it allows us to play a game, however yes. small, which we don't get to do a lot. <laughs> um, but that is. The end it is the of this week's plenty. Um, get involved in the discussion on this one early, because did you decide on? Can you do Monday? Uh, potentially, it depends if we do it on Sunday or Monday. Yeah, it just gives them an extra day. Yeah. Basically, um, we are we will definitely at the latest be recording the plenty on Monday. Mm -hmm. We might be recording it on Sunday night. Mm. So you need to get your comments below. Um, to guarantee them, and the reason for that, oh, this is exciting, it is, it's is exciting. because next week we have a very special guest. We do. And um, 
you can put in the comments below who you think the special guest is going to be. Super extraordinary special guest on the planet next week. And we will be recording um, with them on either Sunday night or Monday. Including a guest 50 point bat rep. Yes, a guest when, 50 point bat um, Damrod, Two Family Court, and a Ranger will take on the might of the Shire. So, um, yeah, that's it. It's good to be back. Um, good fun. Yes. Um, we hope you enjoyed it as ever. And uh, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. That is important. Um, <laughs> support the hosts using the links below. Follow us on you pay. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. It's for your habit, hobby. And happy strategy battle game. Did you get your ticket there? Ticket for what? Throwing skulls. Oh yeah, absolutely. Throwing yeah. skulls, I'm well excited. It's excited? Wicked. Yeah, yeah it's going to be brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've never actually been out on a Saturday night there. Is it good? What, in Nottingham? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's yeah, really good. I had my stag do there actually. Yeah? What, when do they go out on a Saturday night? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. I can't say it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just the anticipation <laughs> of Roxy. <laughs> oh, alright. Sorry. <laughs> Close. <sighs> got your ticket then? No? No, you don't got it. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We've never said anything funny at the wrong sense. <laughs> ah, alright. It was inspired. I'll give you that. You got your ticket then? No. <laughs> Still no. Still no. Just, I know, I know what you're going to do. Sorry. I don't think I'll ever get through it. Outtakes at the end of the episode. Yeah. Alright. So you got your ticket then? Uh, ticket for what? Throw the skulls. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's wicked. Excited? Mm. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's going to be a great weekend. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, I've never actually been out on a Saturday night. Is it good in Nottingham? Oh yeah, Nottingham's great. Um, I have a stag do there actually. It's really oh, good. nice. Uh, where do they go on a Saturday night usually? I think the guys normally go out to Rock City. Rock City? Yeah. Rock <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going even though I'm still I am laughing. So have you got your ticket then? Ticket for what? Throw the skulls. Oh yeah, absolutely. Excited. Brilliant. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. It's going to be a great weekend. It's going to be great, yeah, yeah. What? I've never actually been out on a Saturday night there in, in Nottingham. What's it like? Oh, Nottingham's great. It's really good. I had my stag do it. Yeah, actually. Nice. nice. Why do they go on the Saturday night usually? I think normally some of the guys go to Rock City. Rock City! <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> I don't think that take was as good anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take to be loaded with damn show. Yeah. <clears throat> It'll be a five minute show and it'll still be an hour long. So have you got your ticket then? Ticket for what? Throwing the skulls. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, it should be exciting. It's going to be great. It'll be a great weekend. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I've never actually been out on a Saturday night in Nottingham. What's it like? Oh, it's brilliant. Really good night out. I had my stag do there, actually. Oh, nice. Um, where do they go out on a Saturday night? Why? When? <laughs> Where? Where? <laughs> Oh, I hope the guys like outtakes. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> Your face as well. <laughs> Go get RSI. So have you got your ticket then? No, still not got it. So do you get your ticket then? Ticket for what? Throw skulls. Oh yeah, of course. 
excited. So excited. It'll yeah. be brilliant with you. Yeah, it should be great. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. I've never actually been out on a Saturday night in Nottingham. What's it like? Oh, that's brilliant. I had my stag doing Nottingham, actually. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Where do the guys usually go out on a Saturday night? I think they normally go out to Rock City. Rock City! can't be given. That was so good. <laughs> that one, that's what you think. I just can't. <laughs> That sounds amazing. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh god. Yeah, what do we have to say after that? <laughs> yeah, that sounds, that sounds amazing, isn't it? I think you're going to be disappointed that then somehow we get through. Oh. And you're, then we have amazing thing about this now. We've got to do this in outtakes, right? Yeah, yeah. But they're going to watch the sketch at the start. Hopefully, in an hour, we'll yeah. sort this. Yeah. And they'll just go. Hopefully, that was quite enjoyable, yeah. and not know the hell. Yeah. We're <laughs> and how we are deeply, deeply not natural. So you get your ticket then. Ticket for what? Throw a school. Oh, so. yeah, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, excited. So excited. It's going to yeah. be a great weekend. Yeah, it should be awesome. I've never actually been out on a, a Saturday night in Nottingham. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, it's a really good night out. Yeah? I had my um, stag do there, actually. Oh, nice, nice. I've never actually been out. No, I've said that. Oh, damn it. <laughs> we can't afford that kind of mistake. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get act on to count how many times you've chucked this ball before you... <laughs> That's this, this week's trivia! <laughs> how many times how did you have to toss, have the to toss the ball before we got it? Oh, I haven't dropped it though. Yeah, <laughs> it's that wry little girl. It's just there ready. <laughs> Did you get your ticket then? Ticket for what? For a school. Oh something. yeah, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, excited. It's going to be so good, so excited. Yeah. Oh, wait, mate. I know. Um, I've never actually been out on a Saturday night. What's it like? What, in Nottingham? Yeah. Oh, it's really good. I had my um, stag doing Nottingham, actually. Oh, Great awesome. night out. Awesome. Where did the guys usually go? I think they normally go to Rock City. Rock City? Yeah. That sounds amazing. Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Rocks. Rocks. <laughs> Well, we got further. Yeah, we <laughs> And somehow, again, God away. <laughs> this is just the sketch we. And next week we'll do the actual sketch. Yeah. So, have you got your ticket then? Ticket for what? Throwing a skull. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah? Excited? I'm so excited, mate. It's going to be a great weekend. Uh, Can't wait. It'll be awesome. I've never actually been out on a Saturday night there. What's it like? Oh, in Nottingham? Yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. I, um, I have my stag do there, actually. Nice. It's really nice. good. Where do the guys usually go? I think they normally go to Rock City. Rock City? Yeah. That sounds amazing! Yes. Rocks? A city of rocks? I think you're going to be disappointed. City of rocks. Fair play to Nottingham. Why'd you keep chucking that ball? What are you doing? Well, I was thinking earlier, I reckon from here, yeah. I could throw this ball into that bin. Eh? Nah. Nah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Boom! Uh, <laughs> There's the first it. shot of the sketch. Yes. <laughs> Boom <laughs> Oh, that was good. And I think not a swear word either. So. Yeah. Cool. Boom. Let's oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a good shot anyway. What? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about, I'm a good shot. Anyway. Whoa, what? Can't, I can't do this. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's never going to happen. I'm a good shot anyway. Whoa! What? <laughs> <laughs> Dulled it out of it. Get the Whoa, there. Whoa, there. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs>
<laughs> this bit isn't funny. Like, no. <laughs> this is no rock city. Okay. Oh, it's no problem. I'm a good shot anyway. Whoa! What? <laughs> <laughs> It's not a risk anyway, I'm a good shot. Whoa! What? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a risk anyway, I'm a good shot. No! What? <laughs> no. What? No, it's not a risk anyway, because I'm a good shot. Whoa! You what? can't have a shot! Why? Because you're good! That's rubbish. <laughs> she good! Look, there isn't a risk, I'm a good shot. Whoa! What? <laughs> that was terrible. I'm down again. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I like the hysterical one. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not a risk anyway, I'm a good shot. Whoa! <laughs> no, it's just that guy. It's because I'm laughing. I just can't. No, it's not a risk anyway, I'm a good shot. Whoa! What? You can't. No. I was and you got through the war at the time. <laughs> what is it? Well, it's not a risk anyway, I'm a good shot. Whoa! What? <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> it's not a risk anyway, I'm a good shot. Whoa! What? If you're a good shot, you definitely can't shoot. Why? Because your own models are in the way. What? You can't shoot through your own models if you're a good shot. Oh, fine, I'm evil then. Room is safe. <laughs> Camera is moved. Yeah. Yeah. So then we <laughs> Oops. <laughs> What's the laugh on my galley phone <laughs> still? I'm not a strong throw there. <laughs> 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 Dude, I started laughing. That was good though. That was good. My own shot. Best update the FAQ then, don't you? <laughs> that was good. Good <laughs> shot, him. <laughs> it was just bouncing off my head. It's less hilarious to myself than getting in the face. Tree <laughs> 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 <laughs>